welcome dear students now in data handling the last topic is chances and probability these are the experiments consider certain experiment whose outcome have an equal chances of occurring that is examples forecasting of rain and tossing coin and throwing a die such an experiment is called a random experiment random experiments are such experiment whose results are many possible but uncertain outcomes or results must be equally likely equally likely means equal chances of conditions for occurring each outcome or result outcome may be called result also here we see that there are certain experiments in which we forecast the occurrence of an event suppose we are tossing a coin it means we are having two outcomes or two results head and tail if head occurs then event is denoted at by h and if tail occurs it is denoted by t similarly when we throw a die there are six possible outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 such an experiment is called a random experiment and equally likely you know you know that equally likely means the chances or condition for occurring each outcome or result equal example if you start a scooter what are possible outcomes possible outcomes are the scooter will start or scooter will not start there are two possibilities second when a die is thrown what are six possible outcomes six possible outcomes are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 linking chances to probability here we study about outcomes and outcomes means the total results now how the probability is related to outcomes consider the experiment of tossing a coin once there are only two outcomes which are head or tail both the outcomes are equally likely likelihood of getting a head is 1 out of two outcomes there is one head and total outcomes are two so there is a ratio 1 upon 2 this 1 upon 2 is called probability of getting head it means in other words we we say that probability of an of getting head is 1 upon 2 now outcomes as events each outcome of an experiment or a collection of outcomes make an event each each outcome is called event suppose we are tossing a coin we have two outcomes one is head so head is an event and other one is tail tail is another event if in case we throw a die we get six outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 and these all six event six are events also now probability of an event this is the definition number of outcome that makes the event upon total number of outcomes of random 
experiment. So probability of an event is number of outcomes that makes the event upon total number of outcomes of the experiment. So this is the definition. Now exercise. List the outcomes you can see in these experiments. Spanning a wheel. A wheel is made in wheel is in uh, wheel is a figure in your exercise book. See that. So its out possible outcomes are A, A, B, C, D. And similarly tossing two coins together. What outcomes are possible? It means in both the coins head may occur. It means head head. And in one uh, coin head may occur and in another coin tail may occur. H T. In one coin tail may occur, another coin head may occur. T H. In both the coins tail may occur. It means T T. So these are the outcomes for two coins. When a die is thrown, list the outcomes of the event. You have to write on the outcomes. A, uh, first a prime number, B not a prime number. And second A number greater than 5, B number not greater than 5. We see that when a die is thrown, the possible outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now choose the prime numbers. So outcomes for A of first is equal to 2, 3, 5. There are 3 prime numbers among these 6s. And B not a prime number it means 1 comma 4 comma 6 which are not prime numbers in all possible outcomes similarly in second part a a number greater than 5 in total possible outcomes there is only a number 6 greater than 5 so its outcome is 6 b part a number not greater than 5 not greater than 5 numbers are 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 from above possible outcomes so these are the outcomes for event now there is a question question number three find the probability of the point uh, stop uh, stopping on d in question one part a here you have to find probability, not outcomes. The probability of an event is defined like this number of outcomes that makes the event upon total number of outcomes of the experiment. In first part, in question 1, we see that uh, possible outcomes are A, comma, A, comma, B, comma, C, comma, D. So total outcomes are 5 and there is only 1 D. So the probability will be 1 upon 5. If we count A, 1, A, B, C, D, you get total 5. And there is only 1D, it means number out of outcomes that makes the event is 1 and total outcomes are 5. Similarly, in quest part B, find the probability of getting an event and is from a well supple deck of 52 cards. Probability of getting an ace from a well uh, shuffled deck of 52 cards is equal to number of aces upon total number of cards. Number of aces among the cards are 4 and total number of cards are 52. So probability will be 4 upon 52, 1 upon 30. Similarly, probability of getting a red apple from figure on your notebook uh, or sorry on your textbook that is 
getting red apple number of red apple upon total apples there are four red apples and total apples are seven so probability will be equal to four upon seven thus we see that probability is the ratio of favorable upon total favorable means the a number of outcomes that makes the event and total means the total number of outcomes so according to this definition we can solve the exercise now complete this exercise and note down all our statements on your notebook thank you have a good day